In this tutorial we're going to be making a gold bar using the PBR kind of workflow. So the first thing we're going to do is bake our normal map and uh, then we're going to uh, using this high poly and this low poly and then we're going to create all the required textures in Photoshop. Um, so we should end up with a kind of result similar, similar to this. Uh, we're going to present it in Marmoset. It's a nice, easy engine for presenting your models in. Um, but the same workflow applies to something like Unreal Engine 4. Let's just make an new scene out of this. So, okay, so in Maya, you can see we've got our low poly and we've got our high poly. Now, there are a few issues we have with this low poly. The first one is the smoothing groups aren't set up. And the second one is we need to check the UVs. And the third thing is we're probably going to want to triangulate this mesh as well. So let's load up our UV editor. Okay, so we can see our model is unwrapped. If we just go to the rendering tab on bonus tools and assign a checker shader and turn on the preview. Um, we can see that we are UVs are pretty good, but one problem we do have in our UV editor is you can see these lines aren't straight. Now, that isn't the end of the world, but it's not that suitable in this situation because if we're going to be using a baked normal map, um, if we have nice straight lines, then when the texture loads down, it's not going to cause so much um, dodgy compression. So let's straighten all these lines up just using these tools up here. Uh, we've still got another problem on this side as well. So once they're all nice and straight, we just check the UV squares and make sure they're all nice and even. And that's looking pretty good now. So that's our UVs resolved. So the next thing we need to sort out is our smoothing groups. Now, as we learned before, the best thing for like an initial smoothing group test is to just select all the edges that aren't and um, that are open basically that are um, that do not have another edge attached to them so we can see here I've got all the open edges um, as I showed you before there is a really nice script for just doing this for you but I just wanted to show you exactly the kind of edges we're selecting here so all the contained edges are not selected so um, if we just do normals harden edge, and I just need to check to see if we need to unlock normals on this model. Yeah. So if your model doesn't change, sometimes you'll need to come to normals, unlock normals, and then you can use um, these tools and it'll actually update properly. So that should be pretty good. We've done our normal maps. We've done our UV. Um, we haven't triangulated the model yet, that is the last thing we should do. So, what I like to do actually is just clone this over here so we've got a spare version of it. Then, so once we've triangulated this one, um, if we ever need to, we can just revert back to this one. So, to triangulate your model, you can just use mesh triangulate. And that doesn't normally do a bad job, but and let's just turn off, turn off our wireframe. Just make sure all the normals are still drawing okay. Um, one thing I'll probably change though is delete this edge here and then use the multi cut tool and just cut down to here like that. You see the way these edges are all now following a nice even flow. The way it was all connected to that one point, I didn't really like that. Okay, so let's snap our model for baking onto our high poly and then open transfer maps. Okay, so let's clear all these out. So we'll add our low poly into here. We'll select our high poly in our outliner. If you haven't got your outliner, you can just use this 
here to bring it up. We'll add the high poly into there. We'll add a normal map. And um, a quick thing I should have run through first actually is make sure that you have a project set up. So if I go to set project, I'm using PBR material testing here. So make sure you set yourself up a project for that because that means we're always kind of saving in the right place and it's nice and easy to access all our all our files. So once you've set up your project um, we're going to use a TGA format for this or a BMP, it's up to you, I'm happy either way. And we'll make sure we're set to tangent space map width and height 1024 Transfer in wild space, keep your sampling on high, and we'll put that back down. We'll just leave texture seams on too, I think that should be okay for this model. And make sure delete envelopes on bakes is ticked off. So remember to always check your envelope is covering your model. So you can see once you've triangulated your model it does make it a little bit more awkward to edit shapes. You lose your um oh it's like I had that face selected as well. Uh, you lose your ability to kind of loop on models which can be really annoying. Ok so that's now completely uh, covered by the envelope. Um, let's just turn on our preview again, now obviously I've got that checker shader on there. So what I might just do is connect maps to new shader here, so it's just going to make a new shader and assign the normal map to that. Ok so let's hit bake and see what happens. Now one thing I should have done actually is baked in low quality, so if we just press escape to cancel, which when you cancel sometimes it can take just as long as it would to bake anyway. So um, we'll just set this to low because we want to preview it to make sure that it's actually um, Yeah, I don't think it's ready to that, so I'm just going to pause this. Hopefully that bake will come out okay anyway, but just bear in mind I should have set that to low so we can um, preview our map really nice and quickly, but do the final bake. Okay, so that's finished baking now, and if we just pull our model to one side, we'll just turn on lighting here. We can see the bake isn't, isn't too bad worked reasonably nicely that we've got a few small problems with um, with sampling and gradients and things like that so let's have a look at the actual map itself so you can see we're getting the gradienting going on here and then uh, we have spoken about ways to eliminate that. Uh, there's nothing wrong with having it, it can look nice, but um, if you add control control edges that can stop that from happening. And one issue with the gradienting is when you start to load the texture down it can start to cause errors and distortion in the texture. So as the texture resolution goes down obviously it starts to pixelate around the gradient. But I don't think that's too bad, and the best thing to do here really is to export this low poly now. So just select your low poly. Um, what we will do is just select the envelope and delete that, just to be sure. And then we'll export this as an FBX. We'll just call this TA bar. Um, make sure you've got smoothing groups and tangents and binomials ticked on. You should be okay for everything else. Um, some, I will often use triangulate actually when I'm exporting. 
um, but we've already triangulated this model so that's fine so if we jump into Marmoset we'll import import the bar and in our default material we're not going to use any other shader so we might as well just stick with the default one I'll import that normal map that we just baked out ok so that's come out pretty pretty nicely, that's working well so I think we're ok to ok to stick with that now obviously uh, one, one thing you will have noticed is how the bakers come out right first time and obviously that's partly because I tested this out first to make sure that it was going to work ok so this is very rarely the case that you know you'll perform a bake and it will work perfectly first time so um, but just for the purposes of this tutorial I, I did test the bake out first so um, just bear that in mind when you start doing bakes on other like more complex models you'll normally have to rebake a couple of times at the very least to make sure that your uh, result is coming out okay and just remember the things we've spoken about um, making sure your smoothing groups are set correctly using your tools up here in the script uh, making sure your triangles are in the right place so they're not turned the wrong way and using control edges and control verts where you need them so um, you know obviously I like adding loops and things so uh, yeah just bear that in mind that um, I did already set this up so that's why I knew the bake was going to come out okay okay so we have our normal map and our model in there um, since this is going to be a gold bar the next thing we're going to do then is set up our other textures so our um, roughness map, our albedo map and our metalness map so if we jump into Photoshop uh, and let's close this um, so we've got the don't nod chart um, now one thing you want to do with this as I've already done is I'll just open it again to go back to my history there um, the way UE4 works is black is zero and one is white whereas um, Marmoset works the other way basically so um, one being white is actually this shiny metallic um, unblurred reflection here and vice versa so the easiest way to deal with this I think is just to select this area here and just go edit transform flip horizontal and although our numbers are reversed you, be, you can still tell that's 0 0.1, 0 0.2 and so on uh, so this one is fine though, so it's only this one that we that we specifically need to change for this uh, for this tutorial. Okay, so when we check our color values here, we can see that we have a gold value here. So really handy, we can just color pick on that and do Control N for New, and we're going to do 1024 just like we did with our normal map, and then we'll um, do. Uh, alt and delete just to paste that colour into there um, so we're going to save this as the albedo but just to save on some texture space we'll add an alpha in here and we're going to do our metalness map in here now remember that when you're doing your metalness map you should have white for anything that's metal and black for any other kind of material now obviously gold is a metal so we'll need to use white in here, so let's make sure this is perfect white, so 255 by 255 by 255 hit OK and just paste that in again with Alt and Delete sorry Alt and Backspace so now we have our, our basic albedo colour and we have our um, metalness map all in one texture let's go to Save As and you can actually use a PSD in um, Marmoset, so let's just try that. So we'll call this TA bar gold. And remember our naming conventions A 
for albedo.